Do we have a much clearer picture today as to what will happen? Yes, indeed, uh, as expected. I think the control of the movements uh, will be uh, implemented by midnight, as you suggested uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, this is the first, uh, I think, uh, groups of the uh, restrictions uh, apply to the Thai citizens or the, to Thailand as a whole. Uh, in the next few days, uh, there will be uh, different groups of restrictions or, or orders uh, for the, uh, particularly for the bureaucracy to follow uh, in terms of uh, trying to uh, stabilize the situation. So there was uh, there was question about the curfew, but the deputy prime minister today made it clear that for the time being there is no need for curfew, right? So uh, why the government is reluctant to introduce curfew at this moment? Well, I think we have to evaluate as we go. Uh, if uh, closing down uh, these places at night uh, is enough for the people not to come out at night, not to be on the beach, uh, not to stay up late in the parks, uh, not to wandering around in buses, I think uh, it should be okay to uh, uh, to apply uh, these measures for the next uh, few weeks. Uh, but if not, then maybe some kind of uh, uh, restrictive uh, uh, time, time uh, will be uh, applied to certain groups. I, I think you already know that uh, for soldiers, particularly in the army, they are now called back into their barracks uh, by uh, 9 p.m. Uh, just to make sure that uh, they are ready for the next day, they are ready during the night of operation. So I think different agencies will adopt uh, uh, the timeline, restrictive timeline differently. But for the general public, for the moment, I think, and staying at home is a general message. And in the next few days, uh, you could see more uh, measures in pushing uh, new productivities uh, in terms of medical supply. Uh, you could see more measures in terms of helping uh, people who are mostly in need, uh, people who live on a daily basis uh, uh, on the income. Uh, if they stop working for a few days, they could be in trouble. Uh, these are the measures that the uh, uh, small uh, units set up under the center uh, may push, uh, and then you will see uh, a lot more uh, activities uh, in controlling uh, some of the uh, activities uh, as we go uh, uh, as we go in the next few days. For example, uh, uh, you can see in the certain provinces uh, uh, they may not be able to apply this quite effectively, so there will be more uh, different measures applied. But as a moment. The decree is applied to all 76 uh, provinces, including in the south, that already the decree is effective. There will be additional uh, orders in the south, uh, uh, as Prime Minister suggested. Yes. The Prime Minister said that Thailand has reached a turning point. When he said that, what do you think he was trying to convey? I think we know already. Uh, I think Prime Minister just uh, uh, want to make sure that he stress this point, that if we pass this point of no return, uh, there will be two junctures. Uh, one is to go up into the uh, trend and things will be out of control as the numbers of the infected cases are more than a triple in the last few days. But uh, if we move uh, down to a more restrictive measures, uh, in the next few weeks, uh, we could be able to control some of these uh, uh, new cases, but you don't see it uh, in the next few weeks for sure. I think we are now moving, passing that state. We have to uh, accept the fact that uh, in the next uh, few weeks, we may see uh, the rise of new cases uh, uh, until maybe probably a month or so that Prime Minister suggested that uh, with applying these measures uh, quite seriously, you can see the uh, uh, downward trend you know, after four weeks. And does it mean that during the night time we will see security personnel scattering around many areas, the whole country? Yes, that part of the uh, uh, operations. Uh, I think the uh, uh, military, police and security personnel will be uh, mounting their checkpoints. Uh, they will be going up, checking you know, the places. They will be even checking the buses to see uh, who should travel, who should not travel. Uh, for example, foreigners are still allowed, as you may know, uh, if they have a working permit. For example, uh, people who have to come to Thailand to work, you know, uh, those are allowed. I think uh, this is one of the 
messages that have to be clear in the morning uh, tomorrow that yes, we close down channels uh, to come into Thailand, but they, uh, for, for those people who have permits, who have reasons to work in Thailand, they are still allowed. And, and this is already written you know, in the first order. The Prime Minister said that the government will use the full force of law to enforce all these restrictions. So does it mean that uh, people could get arrested for ignoring the directives or the orders under the decree? Yes, indeed, indeed. And I think uh, you have two different uh, uh, characteristics with this decree. Uh, one, Prime Minister and uh, smaller groups of uh, committee uh, can issue any order instead of allowing the governors instead of allowing different ministries to issue different orders based on different laws, now you have one center issuing you know, a lot of the different uh, rules and regulations ranging from healthcare uh, to financial assistance uh, to uh, border management and to, of course, uh, uh, manage, managing the hospitals and others. And, and uh, that's one on one hand. On the other hand, Prime Minister and his group have an arresting power now. He can order arrest he can detain anyone, uh, rather than depending on the police officers. The issue can be ordered uh, directly from this center. And that will give you a direct control uh, over the situation. And of course, uh, one of the uh, measures is to control the information flow uh, regarding the virus COVID-19. Uh, anything uh, fake, anything not true about uh, uh, this uh, situation could lead you into uh, big trouble by violating the, this uh, decree, uh, and this is uh, a special p power Prime Minister has uh, in, in his hands right now. Yes, and what do you expect, what's the loophole that perhaps might be happening regarding the people practice in complying with the decree? Well, people have their ways of uh, exploiting or seeing loopholes. I think that's the way of life uh, you, you could uh, see some of the uh, uh, applications for exemptions of this, citing so many interesting reasons uh, why they should be allowed from six measures. For example, they, they may cite the importance of their uh, role in the family in providing support, you know, so they need to uh, go to the certain places you know, uh, to, to do their job. Uh, and these are the cases that need to be determined uh, quite quickly. Uh, to, to make sure that we have some flexibilities. At the same time, general message has to be clear that there's no other way you know, to uh, slow down or to revert the trend but to stay home, uh, to focus your work at home and to allow other people who have the uh, duties and responsibility you know, to go out and carry on. So it, in short, the whole thing is about having people stay at home. That's the bottom line of the whole thing, right? Well, uh, that's the first and most important part. But you have different parts also. You have the uh, commercial part, production yeah. part. You have uh, operation part. So you have many, many uh, aspects in this uh, order. But, but, but what would affect the, the lives of the people on the street most is the decree, uh, is the directive on stay at home and not to go out and hang around. Uh, if not necessary, right? And the most difficult part, yes, yeah. uh, to change piece of people behavior in these days and age. Uh, the days and age that people need to go, uh, love to go out, and love to be connected, love to fly around the world, you know, love to move you know, to different places freely. And suddenly uh, you have to make a 180 degree turnaround, uh, making sure that people are confided. It's not going to be easy. And for many people, it's, it's hard to accept. But now it becomes a, a restrictive law, it becomes a law that they must stay home. So let's see how uh, they can adopt uh, to the new life in the next few weeks. Yeah. And it, it's quite disappointed, disappointing that in many countries this stay at home directive also doesn't work, like in the UK, and the US, or Italy. I mean, a lot of people still ignore I mean, this, this necessity. Yes, I think the uh, basis of the uh, uh, thinking may be different uh, and also the society may function differently but in the end there is no other be better formulas around the world more than 190 countries uh, they, they prove that even china are now learning that 
if they let loose uh, in some other cities, uh, the new round of uh, infection will begin as we see uh, rises in the number of cases in several different other cities in China. So that is also lessons to be learned from these countries. And do you think in the near future it will have to come have to be announced for public and private sector for yes. their employees to work from home completely? Well, I think already private companies are adopting more uh, different measures to stay at home. Some big uh, computer companies, for example, they allow only work workers to come to work only one day a week. Uh, other than that, they are stay home, for example. They adopted measures even stricter than the government to uh, push their workers to measure the temperatures of people who uh, are considered risk, uh, at risk you know, four or five times a day and submitting the uh, report to the headquarters. So they are adopting actually uh, these measures already. So we, we will see a more uniform adaptation and, and, and implementation of these uh, restrictive measures uh, in the next uh, few weeks.